Unravel the mystery of English, reporting embedded questions. Hello, language explorers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating topic in English grammar, reporting embedded questions. This lesson is a part of our series on reported speech. We've already covered the basics of reported speech and how to report questions. Now, let's take our learning a notch higher and master the art of reporting embedded questions. Firstly, let's understand what embedded questions are. An embedded question is a question that is included within another sentence, whether that's a statement or a question. It's essentially a question, embedded, within another sentence. For example, can you tell me where the library is? Here, where the library is is the embedded question. Pretty simple, right? Now, let's move on to the rules of reporting embedded questions. 1. Changing the verb tense. When we report speech, we usually shift the verbs back one tense. This is known as backshifting. 2. Interrogative to declarative. The embedded question changes from an interrogative sentence to a declarative one. 3. Question marks. Do not use a question mark for reported speech unless the main verb expresses a question. Let's look at an example. The direct speech is, he asked, where is the library? The reported speech is, he asked where the library was. Notice how the tense changed and the sentence structure transformed from a question to a statement. Time to dive into some examples of reporting embedded questions. 1. Direct. She said, what time is it? Reported. She asked what time it was. 2. Direct. He asked, can you help me with this? Reported. He asked if I could help him with that. 3. Direct. Do you know where my keys are? She asked. Reported. She asked if I knew where her keys were. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try converting more direct questions into reported speech on your own. Well, that brings us to the end of this lesson on reporting embedded questions. It's a useful skill that can help you sound more fluent and natural in English. So, keep practicing, and you'll be a pro at it in no time. We hope you found this video helpful, and remember, learning English is a journey, not a race. So take your time, and enjoy the process. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.